Hello everyone, I'm Joseph T. Castellano. I am a practicing doctor of chiropractic and in my wellness practice I combine my knowledge of my fellowship in applied spinal biomechanical engineering with my postgraduate work in nutrition. That allows me to work as a chiropractic wellness coach for individuals who need help, they don't know where to go, where to get it. With the onset of the internet, as I say in each of the videos, there's a wealth of knowledge out there. You could access it within seconds. But is it always wise to self-diagnose yourself or to self-treat? You must be in the hands of a trained professional to know what to do, when to do, and how to do it. Okay, so that's where I come in. Today I would like to share with you some information on hay fever. Hay fever allergy season is starting up. The winter is over. Spring means flowers bud and trees bloom. If you are one of the millions of individuals who have seasonal allergies, you probably experience runny nose, congestion, etc. Hay fever is caused by an allergic response to outdoor or indoor allergens, such as pollen, which is the most familiar with, and dust mites and pet dander. But at this time of year, with spring and the onset of the allergy season, pollen is the one that we're most familiar with and most focused on. Hay fever can make you miserable and affect your performance at work, at school, interfere with your leisurely activities. I know because I grew up having hay fever, rose fever. And when I got under chiropractic care and I started with nutrition, within X amount of time, I no longer experienced the symptoms or the condition of hay fever. Hay fever is also known as allergic rhinitis. It can cause colds like symptoms, runny nose, itchy eyes, sneezing, congestion, and sinus pressure. Unlike a virus, hay fever is caused by an allergen, which is also known as a trigger. Hay fever signs and symptoms usually start immediately after you are exposed to the specific antigen, producing symptoms such as runny nose, nasal congestion, watery or itchy eyes, sneezing, coughing, itching nose, roof of the mouth or throat, sinus pressure and facial pain, swollen, blue-colored skin under the eyes, allergic shiners as they are called, decreased sense of smell or taste. Really, that makes an individual totally uncomfortable and an individual doesn't want to be in the presence of others at that time. For most people, hay fever symptoms tend to diminish slowly, often over decades. But who wants to wait decades for it to slowly start to wear down and then hopefully disappear? You can do something about it now. Is it hay fever or is it a cold? Signs and symptoms can be different. Hay fever, the symptoms are runny nose with thin watery discharge, no fever. When it's a cold, there's a runny nose with watery or thick yellow discharge, body aches, and low-grade fever. The yellow discharge is the key to look for. If the secretion from the nasal passage is clear and watery, that's an allergic response. The onset, immediately after exposure to allergens, that's with hay fever. You walk outside, you're out there within a minute, you may begin to sneeze, your eyes are watering. If it's a cold, it may take one to three days after you are exposed to the cold, the virus. The duration, in hay fever, as long as you're exposed, you are, uh, you, as long as you're exposed to the allergen, you will manifest the symptoms. With a cold, within three to seven days, it is finished and then you are symptom free. So with um, hay fever, it's easy. If you were to go outside, you begin to manifest symptoms. You didn't do them inside. Go inside, wash your face, clean your eyes, okay? Um, symptoms disappear. It's an easy thing. It is hay fever. What are the causes? During a process called sensitization, your immune system mistakenly identifies a harmless airborne substance as something harmful. It's harmless because one individual will experience hay fever, the person next to them will not. So it is not something that will harm each person that comes in contact with it each time. Some individuals' immune systems overreact to the presence of the allergen particles. That's where all the manifestation of the symptoms come in, the sneezing, the watery eyes. 
The key phrase is the overreacting of that individual's immune system as compared to others who are unaffected. Why is one individual's immune system being affected and someone else isn't? For the individuals who are affected, their bodies look upon the allergen as harmful, as we said, and produces an antibody. Now the immune system is kicked in, and it's called an immunoglobulin E, and the purpose is to attack it. And histamine, which causes the symptoms, the histamine is what causes the itchy eyes, the watery eyes, the sneezing. So it's a twofold process that takes place. An antibody is produced because it looks upon the pollen as harmful, if, as if a virus or a bacteria had entered the body, and the histamine which causes the uh, reaction or the manifestation of the symptoms. What is the difference of two individuals? One person's body overreacts and the other doesn't. Alternative healthcare seeks to find a metabolic pathway or multiple pathways that are in need of specific nutritional support. Power up the nerve system with specific chiropractic adjustments. This is not a treatment but a support approach which individuals should be doing naturally. What is happening is we know what are the pathways that support the immune system, that support the function of the, uh, the nasal passages, and we supply the nutrients, okay, the way you would supply gasoline to your car for your car to run efficiently. You wouldn't put diesel fuel into a uh, gas running engine. So you need to know specifically what nutrients your body needs more of, okay, so it will prevent you from having the hay fever symptoms. You can follow us on Facebook, www.facebook.com, Dr. J.T. Castellano, or my website at chirocaredoc.com. Or you could see my videos on YouTube, Dr. J.T. Castellano. I ask you when you view this video to please share it, because, and also to click like, because individuals who are in need of help, they're not getting it, by you sharing this with them, they may then finally get the help that they're needed, which is simple, complicated, and uh, will enable them to return to their normal lifestyle. Thank you very much.